We are live. We are live. We are live. How's everybody doing tonight? Got Super Dave over there dropping the the links for the contact. And any of you guys that are on uh, Facebook, be sure to check out that Houston area crappie fishing. Crappie fishing chat page. You can post your pictures, post your reports. It's not just about reading what you see there. It's about joining in and participating and and uh, you know put doing your reports where you can post your pictures and post your reports. Guys, I've been out on the lake past couple days, including today and uh, yesterday. I, mean, I had a great time with my clients yesterday. I had a great time every, on a lot of my trips, but. Yesterday was special. I had I had two brothers on the on the boat that uh had fished uh, Lake Houston years ago, and it's been years since they've been on it. And man, they they talked about so many different areas and talked about how much different that lake looked. And it it does look. I mean, just about every flood that lake changes like you wouldn't believe. And uh. But they were talking about some areas that I was like, yeah, I've caught a bunch. I've made videos right there in those spots y'all talking about. But with the floods we've had, it's changed the bottom contour so much that that uh the fishing is just not the same there anymore. But uh back in the day, they were really, really good, good uh fishing spots. There's Joey. What's going on, my man? Joey sent me a picture today of a great big old bass he caught out of it. He's always told me about his pun that he's been raising some some really big bluegill in. But uh, he caught a great big old bass out of it today. Rick, what's going on, my man? There's Miss Stephanie. Yes, yes, yes. Rick shouting out Super Dave. There's Slick. What's going on, my man? Murdoch, what's going on, brother? Hey, somebody got a toss-up. I know somebody's been fishing besides me. And, uh, man, I'll tell you what. I I was talking to a couple guys the other day. Actually, Slick was one of them, Slick and Big Liz. And, you know, they those guys think I just go to the lake and the fish and jump in my boat. But I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> it ain't nowhere near like that, especially not fishing Lake Houston. And uh, they was like, well, what do you think this? I don't know, man. Just go to the lake and put that, that scope down there and just move around till you find what they want and make changes. Uh, but here lately, I've been catching a lot of fe- a lot of females that, that are right at done. Those egg sacs are small, but I am also catching some that are about to explode. And that just goes to prove what we've all well, I know I've always known that, not always, but I've known that the, the crappie spawn lasts a long time. All of those fish don't come in to spawn at one time. And uh, just got to get out there and uh, move around. Start, you know, I like starting shallow and then working my way deep. And uh, one of those spots you're going to hit you're going to uh, find that, that that's where the, the fish are preferring to be at that time. Uh, one thing I will say, I'm seeing a lot, I mean, tons and tons of, of really small fish, which is really good for Lake Houston. Uh, because we've had we've had some years, even right now, it's still pretty tough out there. But we had three consecutive years where they, they lowered the lake level. And it's like I say, a lot of times, you know, Two and three foot of water don't mean nothing on a lot of lakes. But Lake Houston is a really, really small, uh, shallow lake. And three foot of water means a whole bunch. Black Smoke Matters. Ford. No slack. What's going on, my man? Thanks for joining us. There's Slab B. Marvin says good evening. Craig, just miss your crappie cleaning live. Yeah, that was the other day that I put that up there. Well, I, was, well, I didn't really show me cleaning the fish, but uh, we talked about when when Steve was still out on the lake. 
Todd, what's going on, my man? Murdoch says, last weekend, the fish I had been on deep were postponed and hard to catch, but there's still plenty shallow doing their thing. Yep, same thing I'm seeing. Same thing I'm seeing. There's Jesse. What's going on, my man? Yeah, I'm, you know, we had a bunch of rain here recently that, that muddied the lake up really bad. But uh, right now, the I was out today, and that, that lake is really, really clear. And I will tell you, the past few weeks, I, I got the jigs right here that I just need to package up. I got the jigs packaged up already, but I just need to get them in envelopes and get to the get to the PO to get sent out. Jerry's Crappie Life says, tough fishing this year. Never had water clarity this good at my lake. The big girls ain't falling for just any jig this year. That's right. And I will say that uh, I found that in the clearer water, smaller baits tend to get bit better. Especially if it's a lake that that that's usually got some color to it. Uh, and don't look over black. I'll tell you that. Do not look over a small black jig in, in clear water. Quintlin. I've seen several, even along the coast. You know, the coast of the Texas coast down Galveston, Freeport, all off in there. Man, the, the water used to always at least be green. But man, I'm seeing. Well, I hadn't been to the coast in a long time, but when I when I did uh, my last trips down there, that water's getting gin clear. I'm not understanding that at all. I mean, gin clear. Craig says fish not hitting here yet. Going again this weekend. That's what's up. Just gotta stay at them. And Stephanie says last weekend the crappie were. Oh, here has was down about 19 feet of water close to the bank. Wow. Yeah, that's deep. Okay, it so, says some were roaming. That's what's up. Slick says the fish just spawned, just swam, swan dive in the boat. <laughs> just dive in the boat. Just to meet you. Whatever, dude. <laughs> JR, what's going on, my man? Miss Stephanie says, all lakes has been very clear. About six foot or better visibility. That's really clear. Now, I'm not for sure what's going on with that, man. Uh, you know, I used to always talk about Conroe because Conroe has, has usually always been a, a, a fairly clear lake. But it had color, you know. And I used to always say that they dumped a bunch of bleach in that water up there to, to, to make it clear. But here it is now, Lake Houston. We used to get rain on that lake, and it'd be, you know, brown and stained really bad for a couple of weeks. But now in a day or two, it's, it's starting, back, starting to clear up. And it's getting a lot clearer than what it's ever been. Rick says, I haven't been able to fish since I bought the Gorman 1022 off Steve's Ranger. Got it set up and paired with the main unit and everything. Why hadn't you been, man? You working too much? You gotta take some time off, man. You can't try to make all the money. Daniel says, hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody's doing well. Hit the thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you, Daniel. There's jigs up. Where you been, man? Where you been? Slap B. So last weekend, still catching. Spawned female, pre-spawned females in deeper water. Caught some tuxedo males last week. I still haven't caught not a one male. Actually, last year I didn't catch any. And I hadn't caught one yet this year. Up shallow, it's almost over. Thank goodness. Well, we still, I think we still got a ways to go. So like I said, I'm still seeing some that, that are about to explode that are just coming in. They got eggs in them. Still there. Yep, yep. Murdoch says, I waited till late in the day after all the boats had left. The spawning, the shallow cypress, and I waked them. Caught 30 plus in under an hour. Bunch of shorts, but 
had keepers too, two foot of water. Yep. Yes, sir. Yeah, I actually found some, uh, actually yesterday and today, found some, some fish in short water. And like you said, right up on the cypress knees. And I'll tell you this. Uh, I'm not for sure if many of you guys, I know you probably heard people talk about, especially with the bluegill, that you can smell when you're by a bed. It's, it's the same thing when you're by crappie and, you, and they're, you're in an area where they spawn it. It's a real strong aroma of urine. And uh, I was telling my clients yesterday and today, you know, we fished. Uh, I didn't I don't like fishing shallow, but if that's where I got to go to get them. That's what I'll, that's what I'll do. And when we got there near those slippage trees, you could really smell it. And uh, they were they were they were pretty surprised that that you could you could smell it. Caught a couple roaming on a black spinnerbait, a smaller spinnerbait. There you go. Spin, you know, I was talking to a guy today who was talking about spinnerbaits for crappie today, and uh, those beetle spins. Uh, and you also got the uh, what's the other ones with the little underspin on it? Uh, I forget the name of them. But yep, spinner baits and beetle spins, all that, uh, it worked great for crappie. Murdoch said he used uh, 1 16th hand ties mostly, two to two and a half inches. Two to two and a half inches deep, but shallow, the smaller, the better. Yep. Yes, sir. Black Smoke says, I put 14 pounds of minnows in a pond trying to get the crappie growing more. There you go. Now, I'll tell you this. If, if you're catching a bunch of small ones, it may be overpopulated. Do some research on pond management, especially if you got crappie in it. Do, do a little research. You, you understand what I'm talking about, uh, how many fish you have to take out of a pond for it to stay, stay healthy. Jerry says... I appreciate your tips. I'll give you a report back same time next week. I'd appreciate it. Craig says, I watched six different live crappie videos, and this one is my favorite. My least favorite is a guy that begs for money all through the video. Wow. Now we ain't going to beg for no money. You got to have a passion for this. But I'll tell you what, it is not easy. Uh, you know, just, just you know, having that time dedicated. You know, paying for the software, uh, keeping a, a decent laptop to where you can do this stuff. You know, it, it's not easy, but you have to have a love for it, for people to really appreciate it. Because if not, you're going to want to get paid for it. J-Dub, what's going on, my man? There's Mark. What's going on, buddy? I was over there chatting with them. They were talking about essentials for uh, having on your boat. Uh, that would help you in a pinch. Pretty good conversation I had over there today. Joey says, my understanding is the current in the Gulf is shifting and pushing the discharge from the rivers with heavy sediment farther south, which is allowing our area to have that blue water we've been seeing. Huh. Yeah, but how would that affect the lake water uh, clarity? That's above any dam. You know, Lake Houston, Lake Houston doesn't tie directly. I mean, if below the dam it does, tie directly into the coast, but not above, not above the lake, uh, above the dam. Work to live. Don't live to work. It's a great saying. Great saying. Mike Jones, what's going on, my man? Jigs up, say he's been down on, on his dock catching crappie. Water finally clearing up and fish moving in. That's what's up. It's only a matter of time. Uh, if you got structure along the bank, it's like I, I'd say, I don't care where you're at on, on a lake. If you got structure on the bank uh, at, at a certain time of the year, you will be catching crappie. But you have to just be there when they're there. Mark says, uh, saw same thing. I, uh, saw something I'd never seen before. The alligator gnats were in the cypress thick right at dark. They were dying and falling in the water. 
the crappie were tearing them up. Alligator net. Is that the one that bites you, bite you in your eye? I, I don't want to speak too loud about those because, man, we usually get them pretty bad on Lake Houston, but we hadn't had them. I hadn't seen them this year yet. Man, it'll make you have to put a face net on. Road runners. That's right. Yep. Yep. Road runners. Yep. That's the other one. Beetle spins, small spinner baits, and road runners. If you want to cast for crappie, they work great. And rooster tails. I forgot about those. We didn't we didn't talk about those today. But rooster tails work great too. I'll tell you what, rooster tails work really good for white bass too. They work really good for white bass. Murdoch says, when I say deep, I mean 10 to 12 feet. Yeah, well, that's about what I call deep on, on uh, Lake Houston, too. Rick says, life taking care of elderly parent. Wife had a total hip replacement at 57. Between that and work, it's been a drag. Hoping all will be settle, will settle down by May. Well, I hope you hear you get out there, Rick. But you're doing your part in life. And it's like I always say, there's a lot more in life that's more important than crappie fishing. But uh, it's all about getting out and chasing those crappie when you can. Black Smoke says, I get rid of a lot of them, but the bass are huge from eating them. Yep. Yes, sir. Slick giving Mark a shout out. Slap B says, SK, you seen the chatterbait for crappie? I have not. He says, that thing got some vibration, and that six cents bait with a spinner on it is pretty good. I like casting a lot this time of year. Huh. Now, I, I've never heard of a chatterbait for, I mean, is it a, it, is it a underwater bait, or, or is it like a, a topwater bait? Most most chatterbaits that I see are, are top water baits. Craig says he just watched a two-year-old LBG video, and he was using a red, a red, I guess a red and white jig from Steve. I laughed. <laughs> yeah, oh LBG, oh LBG, love, uh, love, love that red and white, but I can't make it work for nothing. Red and short trues, any, any jig with a red body on it, it just does not work for me. Innovative jigs, doing great. How about yourself? What's up, Mr. Big? Look at here, look at here, y'all. Yeah, over on the East Coast. What's going yep. on, man? Doing good, man. My signal ain't that good, but. Oh, you coming through clear? Yeah. And I can hear you well. That's what's up. Cool. You handling business over there, right? Huh? You handling business over oh, there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Appreciate you coming on. I mean, you didn't have to. I know you Not got a lot of stuff yeah, yeah. going on. Yeah. So. But uh, LBG say he's going to step in a little. He say he got his, oh, okay. his grill going. Got him some burgers on the grill. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, Miss Stephanie, that's that's a handful that he's taking care of over there. But the, the good thing is, there you go. There you go. <laughs> the good thing is, uh, uh oh, yeah. Slappy so said, I fish a lot of different ways. I like catching them all kind of ways. Never spider rig, though. I'll tell you what, spider rig is, is a relaxed way of, of crappie fishing. I don't do it anymore, but it, it, it was fun when I did it. Right. Yep. Yep. Joey said, be careful with, with cropping a pun. You will have a pun full of seven inch fish. Yep. Without a Dang. doubt. You have to take a bunch of them out. You have to take a bunch out. Yep. Super Dave. Joey says, crappie are only recommended in water over 20 acres typically it, yeah oh, okay. and, and especially white crappie right crappie, crappie are worse than the black crappie so if you got a small pond you want to, you you much rather put uh black crappie in it 
from what I've read. ST BRTP Outdoors, what's going on, man? You going solo today? Uh, for a little bit. Got Steve on now. LBG supposed to be coming on a little bit later. Maroc says the gnats don't bother me bad out in open water, but when yep, when you get uh, when I went shallow, it was awful. I looked like <laughs> I had measles. Wow. Man. So it's the it's the biting it's the biting gnats. Yeah, them them jokers they are terrible. Yeah. You know, if I find a, a a cloudy day, I like wearing short pants. Uh, but not when it's sun, not when it's gonna be sunny. And I'll tell you what, man, I wore short pants the other day. It was a total overcast day, and I hated it because the biting flies were so bad. I could swear I killed I killed ten of them. I used just used my uh the the towel that I my uh lint free towel that I uh, clean my grafts with. I bet you I killed ten of those jokers. Man. And they are five times worse than the gnats and a and a mosquito when they bite you. Them jokers hurt. Sabi said rooster tails when I was a kid was my go to fake bait just prepared to lose a lot of trouble hooks around cover. Yep. Oh yeah. Like There's the Darian. Yeah, the exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Hey Darian. Darian got him a boat. Yep, yep. Be out on the lake chasing them crappie here at the wall. Yep. Mr. Harry, how are you today? Craig says, I use beetle spans for crappie and rooster tails too. Yep. Black Smoke says, already is a lot of seven inches. I get rid of them when I go. Yep. Better do a bunch of whole fries. Yeah. Or invite invite some people over. invite some kids over, man. But you have to manage a pun, especially a small pun if you get yeah. crappy in it. You have to manage it. Or all you will have is 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 unnurtured small crappie. Chatterbait can also be called a blade, a bladed jig. It's subsurface. Okay. Super Dave hollering at you. Forward. Hey, Ford. Yes, it's underwater bait. Uh, it looks just like one for bass, just smaller. It works awesome. Cool. Okay. That's Crappy aggressive. A lot of times, you can drop it on their nose. They won't even move. Exactly. I see that yep. a lot on Lake Houston, man. Hey, Miss Stephanie. Yeah, the, the fish on Lake Houston have to be enticed more than hey, on Craig. any lake, any lake yep. that I've ever fished. Yeah, but I, heard, I, I see Rick it's, talking it's, about the unit. What was what was the question? No, he was just saying that ever since he got it, that uh -huh. he hadn't been able to go. He'd been having to take oh, wow. care of family members and and, oh, okay. and dealing with work. Yeah, and I just told him, man, in time, you know, yep, he's he yep. doing his part right now. So yeah, they're all magnolia crappie. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, I went to a lake. That's all I caught is magnolias. Yeah, all did they have did they have any size to them? Mm. Man, I can't remember. I don't even think any were throwbacks, but they were like 11, 12 inch. They weren't like oh, okay. huge. Yeah. But I heard there was some huge ones caught there. That's why I went. Yeah. Yeah. Them I want to go back get, again. Them jerkers can get yeah. big, man. I'm talking about really big. Yeah. It was a tiny lake, too. Wow. Didn't even have a boat ramp. It was just a dirt, like a dirt angle. <laughs> Uh -huh. You had to launch off of it. I was kind of scared to launch, but once I got in the water, the boat launched good. Huh. Yeah. Cool. That's what's up. I'm going to try to go back with the Ranger if I get enough guts. Yeah. It That's the one that it, it only had a dirt ramp or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Slick, what's up, man? Yes, yeah, sir. No, Slack says, red doesn't work for you because you don't want you don't want it to, man. That color is fire. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'll tell you how I know red don't work. Now I will tell you, red works great. And I, I, I use it a lot in salt water. Red and white, it works great in salt water. But when I back when I was tying jigs, man, I promise you, I tied over a hundred jig combinations of red with a red body. Trash. All trash. <laughs> All trash. 
Al Booster, what's going on, my man? Hey, Al. Got a report from my main bluegill lake. They bunching up pretty good. Probably going to try them after work tomorrow. Hey, man, let me know if uh, if you uh, – man, we got a special guest. I'm just hoping that he can get connected. We got a special guest tonight, y'all. Y'all, y'all going to trip out on this. He just got to get connected. If he get connected, we're going we gonna, to we gonna have a nice little chat. Yeah, Murdoch, let us know, man. I hope you I hope you have good luck. Yeah, I need to get to uh get to my one of my little lakes too to check out. Yeah, OBG, he's he ordered them a long time ago. Red and white, some split tails. Yep. Yeah, he 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 been catching a few fish with them. I never discriminate discriminate against a seven inch crappie from my pond. They eat just fine. I know they do. <laughs> and we can't do that if you don't have a a a, a private pond, though. No. Yeah, yep. yep. <coughs> I know some. I know some people that uh, scrape those, cut the head off, and gut them, and and fry that junker whole. Yep. Fry them hard and whole. Eat the whole thing. Those people eat sardines. Just think about it. Exactly. Yep. yep. Slap B says we call them no seams in Alabama. Them biting gnats eat you up. Yep, without a doubt. Who makes that bladed jig for crappie? I was talking about that underwater blade bait. Like that chatter bait. Hey, yeah. John. Hey, Jar, what's up? Z Man. Okay. A little crappie chatterbait. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't really use stuff like that, and even bladed jigs, I don't use them anymore. Yeah, yeah. With live scope, it's yeah, it defeats the purpose. Yeah, uh, yeah I was talking to my client today. We was all saying talking you about, can't, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. My client and I was talking today about all the different ways to catch a crappie. And I was like, yeah, once you get live scope, man. Yeah. It, 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 it it's just live scope, yeah. you know. I'm just doing a minnow. A jig or a plastic, a hand tie. Right. Yeah, that's a, that's all you need. You can do other yep. stuff, but then yep. that's more tackle you have to have. And exactly. Seeing the reaction to that fish, man, it's just, just put it uh, on top of it. Yep. But just double checking. Okay. Joey says Lake Houston, though frustrating, gives you a real sense of pride when that rod bends. Is bent in half without oh, a doubt. Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. Just seeing that's, it before you feel it. That's what yep. I like. Yep. That's why I like fishing Lake Houston. It is not, it can't just know anybody go and catch crappie on Lake Houston. It ain't gonna happen. There are some two and three pound crappie in this pond, but more small ones. Yep. That's usually how it starts until it gets really overpopulated. And then once the old ones die, the all you're left with are the small ones. I was coming on. This signal here is not that good, so. Yeah, you're pretty good. You're nice yeah, and clear. Yeah, no though. Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. Over the air, yeah. Yeah. Stepping will catch just about everything. If you cast a lot, it's a great bait. I never have luck with red either, SK. I don't even like red hooks. <laughs> yeah, I used to get a lot of press just for red hooks. Yeah. Yeah. And then people say red eyes on J mm -hmm, heads. Mm -hmm. They like them. Or they'll do a red neck with the thread. Yep. Yep. And exactly. I can't stand that. I can't stand yep. seeing your thread if you if yeah. you tie a, a hand tie. Yeah, they tie a collar like Murdoch said. Yep, exactly. Like say it like re represent the, the, the gill or something. Yep, yep. Can't make anything with red in it work worth the crap. Yep. I agree. SK and Steve, would you recommend buying a used boat or a new one? Depends on your budget. Yep. yep. I yeah. I'd much rather say buy a used one because your your value is it doesn't depreciate as much. Uh, a new boat is really nice. I've never owned yeah. a brand new boat, but they're really nice to have. But as soon as you drive it off that lot, you probably lost five grand, if not more. Yeah. And if you plan on keeping it 10, 20 years. Yeah, you know, and it all depends. Can you work on boats? You know, a lot of guys they don't want to work on them, and right. one's probably your better option. Yep, 
But if you like to tinker with stuff, yeah, yeah. And if you get, I mean, you can find some used boats that are just top notch. They they rent yeah. lake ready. Uh, I will tell you this: if you if you are get going to go into uh, uh, getting a, a used boat, be sure to get a mechanic to check the compression, yeah. have him check the transom, have him check the flooring. Yeah. Those things. Box, they'll go through one hour and they'll go through that whole boat. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and give you a list. Because you can't get a boat, and I'm talking about in short order, you you having to spend thousands to to get the you know floor work done or or transom. Transom's bad. Oh yeah, yep. it's eight eight nine thousand minimum. Yep, yep. It's not cheap. Yep. Or possibly having to do a new motor or rebuilding the motor. Very important stuff. Need jig heads. Well, you got the man right there. Yeah, you have to wait a couple weeks, but I'll get them to you. Yeah. Chuck says late but made it. You're not late. Hope all are well. Let me let me text this dude. Set. Let him know that I can. He's hit me too. Give me. It says giving him fits. Let's see. You. Yes, sir. Steve, you gonna try to hit a spot up two up there? I don't know. I gotta find out what's biting. I know stripers, uh -huh. bluefish, but I know July, June, July is a lot better. Mm hmm Because it's cold, you know what I mean? So the warmer weather. I don't even know what the water temperature would be right now. Probably fifty. Yeah. Fifty maybe. Yeah. But there's okay. a there's a lake up here and I never fished it. I might uh -huh. go exploring. Cool, cool. That's what's up. You you take a rod with you or no? No, I have my rods when I grew up. What? Yeah. yeah so cool. You, gotta, you have to knock the cobwebs off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. 40 That's what's up. years ago. Yeah. Pain yeah talking 40 about years, I left 40 years ago. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Went to Air Force. That's pretty cool. Yeah, pain to tell you the truth. I, I was on a boat today doing a dial in and uh training with, with the guy and I told him that he needs to take his pole and throw it in the trash. <laughs> Actually it is because I went to the Air Force in April, April 16th is when I joined the Air Force. What year? Forty years ago today. Forty years not today, but April sixteenth yeah. was today, seventeenth? Yeah. Forty years yesterday I left home going to the Air wow. Force. Wow. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. Seven, almost eighteen. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think I left the the day before when I the day I went in April sixteenth. I think I left the house the fifteenth. Uh huh. Because I they put you in a hotel in Boston and then they fly you into Texas. Yeah, that's what's up. And they start messing with your mind. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first thing they were doing was. You had your bags in your hand. That they tell you put them down, put them up like five hundred times. Yeah, but it was cool. Vanilla extract rub to your skin. Well, I'm trying to add him, but he. I think you got to give your give your uh, camera give give uh, the the software access to your camera. Is that bluegill? No. Uh, well, we can hear you. <laughs> I forbid. How that's dare old, you try to sneak catchy. around and my, be seeing all my pictures, man. You stop it. <laughs> that's catching. <laughs> oh. It's giving, me, it's giving me real. It's giving me fits, bro. I don't know. I've I done restarted it and tried all kinds of stuff. Somehow I pushed it. Along. It asked me a bunch of questions about what. And I said, okay, I'll allow it this time. And I didn't like that. Your bank said, well, account info. <laughs> I, I, I gave it permission. I thought two or three times, but it won't let the camera come on for nothing. It, I, I even had to fight the microphone. So I don't know, man. Giving yeah. me a little trouble here. I'm, maybe I'll try one more time. What's okay. the good news out there? What's the good news, gentlemen? Man, it's been tough down here. We've been getting out. Oh, we've been catching some, been catching some big fish, but man, it's been tough. Come on, man. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, hey, I'm gonna tell you something. Believe it or not, 
I am all the way past the spawn. They are done over there in that short water. That what? lake, that lake, that lake's finished, bro. It, it wasn't nothing but little tiny baby fish and wore out females. And I found two boys on beds in the whole bank. They, they're done over there. Wow. I caught one, did catch one pretty decent female that had some eggs in her, obviously. I don't know if she just late to the party or what. Like I said, there were two boy fish. But three days ago, I went over there and just lit the whole thing bank up on fire. They're just gone now. I, oh. I, they're all out there. They're ones under the dock are looking beat up, man. They're all shredded up real bad, and the girlfish are real thin. I think they're yeah. about done over there. I bet you they're done in the next week over there completely off the bank. Wow. I'm uh, I'm you about said, to I'm, head west. I'm gonna head I'm west. Not, I'm gonna head west. Go to deeper water, baby. Yeah, I'm not sure about puns, but I know on, on lakes, man. I've always seen that they they come in in waves. So well, you know, they they've been doing it since February, brother. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's been going on for like two months now. <laughs> right. The first all at first it was nothing but really big sows and big males for about. Two weeks at the end of February, it was just nothing but big fish. You may not catch a lot of them, but they're all pushing two, you know, big ones. Right. And uh, then it then it kind of became just a catch fest for a while there, where they were just all big fish, like thirteen inches and up, and you know, you catch fifteen or so pretty quick. Uh -huh. uh, then they moved. Then they started moving to the bank, but but you know, we had those weather things, so they moved to the bank, and they'd be pretty good for a day or so. And man, that rain and cold front would hit, and they moved back out. Yep. And then they, yep. you know, they, they're just doing their normal thing. Um, but about two weeks ago, I think it peaked maybe three. And uh -huh. you can pretty much catch it. They were all pretty big. There weren't no throwbacks. And it didn't matter where you put the jig. <laughs> you know what I mean? You could go over there by the bank and go out there in deep water, whatever. You're going to catch a big crappie. Right. But uh, that started filtering out about two weeks ago. Uh, some days were better than others, obviously. But uh, for, and uh, and even though the weather was inclement a couple of times, you know, cold and there was some rain and stuff. Uh -huh. Once they were really, once they were really primed, they didn't really move much. I mean, oh. the males, you know, you know how the males are. Most of those males stayed on the beds, um, even when the weather, you know, rained and the water rose, and they still didn't really move. I mean, it didn't rise, rise a lot, a couple inches, uh -huh. but they still did, they still didn't move much, and. Yeah. Uh, and there, were, and there were days there'd be girl fishing with them, you know. If you found a girl fish, what, a couple of times, I'd find a great big girl fish and right beside her, a great big boy fish. That, that, that happened more than once. Yeah. Um, but that's been that's been two and a half, three weeks ago. They're, they're not like yeah. that now, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I might give up on this and try to figure it out later or something. I hate to, I hate to not have my face on there, man. That's just wrong. <laughs> we we appreciate you coming on, man. We missed those bank that bank fishing boost to get people out there to fish, you know, man. And you've well, been on some know, really good fish. Yeah, did you see the uh did you see that post today? I, I had a little uh I don't know where I got that bait. It's been laying around a while. It's kind of purple. Yellow. And, yep. Yeah, it That's worked what pretty I, good. Hey, I was telling Steve, man, I used to hey, I used to light them up, but it would be on days when they were very slow on all the other colors, and that purple and well, yellow, split body purple and yellow, would would, would yeah. set them on fire. This kind of had a little bit of a kind of a translucent thing going on. It was kind of a yeah. chartreuse yep. yellow with a, a kind of a clear purple. But uh, you know, I caught fish from three inches long to fourteen inches long with it. Every I, I, I caught sixty five fish in an hour, so it wasn't like they weren't biting. Yeah, but they were very they were very definitive in in what you start seeing. And I know y'all see this on those LS units. They uh -huh. wanted it rising slowly away from them. Right. They, right. They, most, most, most of the fish bit the jig on the rise. I got a, caught a few, kind of cut a few, dragging it along. But the uh -huh. majority of the fish wanted it coming up off. You know, I put it real close to the bottom, maybe, maybe an inch or two off, and then she eased it up. And I was getting bites, you know, somewhere between two foot off the bottom and pretty close to the dock. Yeah. But, yeah, a lot uh, of people, you know, I'll tell you this, even with live scope, people don't realize how <laughs> high in the water column a, a crappie will come up to feed. Well, you know, they just love stalking that stuff, man. They're exactly. like cats. Exactly. They just like to sneak and sneak and sneak. And when they think that, when they, you know, when they think they've closed the distance where they can pounce, it's on, man. Right. But, uh, and you know, as well, I know y'all, you know, you see this on LS. You also know that a lot of times if you stop that jig, it's over. Yeah. I don't know why. 
I don't know why, but it can stop. You know, some modes it stops the hammer, but a lot of times if it stops, they just turn around and swim off. Man. Yeah, the, the thing so, is, they are very timid yeah. fish. They're very timid. So they're that, cats, that, man. That's exactly. all they are. They're damn, yep. they're yep. just house cats. They're they're house cats, man. Yep. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I appreciate you inviting me over, brother. Maybe next week I can figure this out and get on there. And uh, I, I got to get with Steve. I, I got some baits I need to get. Uh, hey, did you see the split tail that was in the bag with the paint baits? Did you see that the other day? I called it the fi I called it a fire. What did I call it? A fire tail? Fire tail. Oh, something, oh yeah, fire the tail orange tail. tail. The orange, monkey milk orange tail. Yeah, that, you know, that was one of Steve's forked uh, split tails. Uh -huh. And, uh. And it was kind of a pearly blue milky, uh, kind of monkey milk looking speckle, you know, black pepper. And somehow, you know, a lot of times I put two or three jigs in the bag and run into the water, you know. And I had one of those in a bag with a pink jig. And uh, and it was from another manufacturer. And, you know, a lot of those bleed because Steve's yeah. don't. But a lot, of, a lot of them do. And yep. this thing bled and soaked into the tail. Man, it made a pretty jig. Uh -huh. And they bit it really well. They bit it well. I, I you know. I, I won't. I won't. I'm not going to blow it up anybody's skirt. They didn't bite it better than the orange. <laughs> oh. They'll hammer that orange. They're hammering orange, but that orange yeah. is starting to wane. It's starting. It's starting to be a thing that's not quite as. Uh, it was hot for a while, bro. Yeah, you, you had orange. You're going to load up the bucket. You have any lemon lime? I. You know, I did pitch a lemon lime one day and had fairly good luck on it. But brother, I'm be honest with you, man. I try a lot of different colors all the time, and I was. Really hard for us to find anything that could touch the orange. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah you the catch, orange been hot here too. They were just liking it. I, I think it's just yeah. visibility most. Yeah, yeah. visibility. Hot, white, hot white's a good one too. Yep. I'm yep. sorry. What? Hot white, straight white. Well, I did. I you know, I I tried white. I tried pink. Pink was another color that one or two days did well. Yeah. I caught a really. I caught a sixteen and a half inch fish on, and I think it's the bait that bled off into that other one. Uh, oh. You know, I got two or three in the bag, but I caught a 16 and a half inch fish. I bet that fish was in the upper two range. Yeah. It was quite healthy. It was quite healthy. I didn't think it was a crappie when I hooked it, obviously. But, oh. uh, but yeah, I'm going to be going. We're going to, you know, Steve, we're going to head out west to Mineral Wells, I think, next week. I, we, I kind of okay. made an appointment with old, old David out there because he's just crying. And uh, we need to go out there and see. I bet we can pluck some off out there pretty uh, easy, right? Yeah, now. when I get back, I'm gonna I'll, I'll make a trip out. Where there. are you headed out to? Oh, I'm out Where of town going? right now. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh I didn't know. Yeah. Oh no, that, that's wrong. <laughs> well, <laughs> well next week weeks. I'm gonna try to get out. Uh, H and I talked about going out there and hitting it with David a little bit. He's he's okay. still saying he ain't catch, he's saying he ain't catching no crappie, dude. Yeah, it's got fire and, out there. Hey. SK, you've been out there before, and no, yep. Steve has too. Yeah, but that, that thing's that's, full. That's nothing coming from that guy, though. That's yeah, but it's full, <laughs> it's full of crappie. I mean, how do you not catch a crappie out there? I don't know. I can't well, quite figure that out. He's, here's he's been the pretty, thing, though. Here's the thing. Well, me, and you have, me and you have talked about this, and I, I mentioned it a lot on, on some of the videos that I do. you got to find the spot on the spot. You can't just go to the spot. And a yeah, lot of yeah, people yeah. will get on a spot and that they just, okay, I know they on the, I'm on the spot. No, you got to find the spot on the spot. And, and well, and do that. you know, with a graph, you can see it a lot of times, but obviously I'm, I'm many times I'm fishing without a graph. And I can tell you, matter of factly, you roll up to cover. There's a lot of times 90% of the fish are on a certain spot on that cover. That's right. They're on the left, they're on the right, they're behind you, they're in front of you, but they're not. They're not spread out necessarily all over the cover, you know, or the tree might even have all the fish on the left side of the tree. You know, they're kind of weird like that. Huh. You know, you know what I'm yep. saying? I know, I, know, I know you've seen it, man. You roll up and there's a tree and uh, heck, all the damn fish are on the left side of the tree. Why is that? I don't yep. you know. Yep. But uh, like it's you said, it's, spot, it's that spot on the spot stuff, brother. Yep. Anyway, yep. guys, I, 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 I did want to uh, come on. I, I uh, I, I want to come on maybe next week where I get this mic and, and everything going. At least, at least I can blah blah yeah. blah a little bit, right? Well, we'll we'll yeah. talk. We'll talk. Uh, you get some time during the weekend. I get some time. We'll better. hook up and and we'll get well, you set up. Steve, you better save me a ball cap. You're supposed to save me a ball cap and another one of them jig boxes. Don't forget yeah, I me. Saw you. 
I got them. I got. I got to get you. Yeah. I got to get you one of mine too. I know you gave him one of yours, so I got to get you one of mine well, too. I I didn't know you had one. I, I wear it probably. Yeah, I got a bunch of them lined up here, different colors. Uh oh. And then I got I got I got Steve still too. That's a bad. Hey, that's a, that that yeah, logo right there. Right. It don't get no better than yeah. that. Oh yeah. Well, I ain't I ain't privileged enough to. I can use the basement, but I'm not allowed to have a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get some gators, man. That's hey, what I got. I bet yeah. my I bet yeah. my yeah. My, jer my jersey's better than yours though. Oh, hey, I don't listen, even have guys, a jersey. Oh, I got a nice one, a hoodie. I got a hoodie from that thing's that thing's a champ, man. Good quality yeah. too. Yeah. Hey, listen, guys, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take off. It's getting kind of late, and I uh, appreciate right, the invite. I'll get All I'll right. get on next week, you know. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right, catch you. See appreciate you, you, brother. Later. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. All right, you do the same. See bye. bye. Oh, and kaboom is the word. Kaboom is still the word. <laughs> <laughs> no you doubt. Know, I'm just just well, gotta say how, it. You know how I say it. I say kabam. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> well, and I'll tell you what, that is something I was gonna mention today. Those postponed fish, as you well know, there's not too many soft bites. That's right. They got an appetite, they got an appetite worked right. up right now. Especially if they're shallow. If them juggers shallow, yeah, them like juggers, a, hey, they don't play. Well, they pretty much they pretty much the shallow ones, yeah, they're just eating anything that goes by. But now that they yeah. now that they're all shredded and done looking skinny, yeah, they weren't pecking around today. They was hitting it pretty hard. Oh. Have a good one. See you later. All right, later, man. Bye guys. All right, good. How'd that happen? Did you change uh, yourself around? I didn't. LBG. What was up, Steve? What's going on with you? No man, feed my face right now. <laughs> oh, okay. That's why you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what that old burger tastes like? Off the chain. Cool. And I go deer burger. You do smash burgers? No, nah, it's deer burger. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Mm, I cooked yes. deer, put the other guy off the grill. Had him on the grill. Oh, yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I cooked. Uh, I actually got some marinating right there in the box. I cooked half of a uh, backstrap the other day. And just pan seared it, and then I got some now that I'm that I'm I'm probably gonna wrap in bacon, but I got it uh marinating in the box. You know what? That's what I forgot. What? Put some bacon. I got that backstrap on the grill right now. I forgot to put some. I knew it was something else. I forgot to wrap it. Oh, wrap bacon. it in bacon. bacon. Oh yeah, that bacon makes it better. I might go get some put on here in a minute. It's yeah, it ain't too late. Yeah. Yep. Nah. Yep. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I like doing it. The lake. Um, I think it was last. Friday, Navarra Mills. Oh man, uh -huh. yeah. I basically launched at Oak Park, idled to like the main lake, shut my motor off, put the trolling motor down, and I use it on fish to the north side. I just pull a live scope, and before you know it, I had fifteen in the box. Wow. Yep. And you then I was like, before. then I had a couple guys following me, so I was like, ah, right, let me get out of here. <laughs> then I left there, went to another area, and just finished. And the weird thing was about eight to sixteen foot of water. I didn't find nothing shallow. Wow. Than eight foot. Yep. And they were loaded. I went to some crappie condos. It was ten fish on them. Wow. I'd pick off maybe four of them. Then I'd just leave. I wouldn't even try to get no more. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'd just go to the next one just to give a different variety. Oh. Uh -huh. Yep. One hand tie all day. Same one. I broke off one time, and then I used tied the same colors. This is a mm -hmm. hand tie. Yeah. Yep. As soon as that fish seen it, it was sometimes I had to sit it there maybe 10, 15 seconds. But they were pretty when they would hit it, they would hit it. Yeah. All That's good super fish cool. too. Yeah. Which I must I must tie kitchen arms together. <laughs> <laughs> man. Yeah, I was surprised to see him try to get on, man. Yeah. I was surprised that he was still up. <laughs> yeah, he he well, he a lot, but we haven't been there in a while. Yeah, that's a good lake too, man. Oh yeah, it's I, just way out, out there. there. I limit out. One yeah, it's just limit. one of the lakes just way out there. Yep. Yep. Good lake though. Yep. Good fish. I've been out there and had like one or two throwbacks all day. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Joey. I tell you what, I like I like jalapenos too. Uh, I don't eat them as much now, but man, back in the day, I I, I love that. Yeah. I don't pull, pull my burgers, but I'm yeah. I had the smash burgers. I got a Blackstone. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yep. There's Jeff. 
Hey, Jeff. Yeah. Fried green tomatoes. Yeah. Joey says, time to hit the thumbs up. Smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, do that too. All right. Appreciate you, Joey. Craig says, I hear Steve's jigs are great, but mine will catch fish guaranteed. I quarter a half stick. A quarter or half stick. Okay. Cool. So I guess he's cutting them down, making them making them micro baits. Yep, that's Steve's contact. Like, yeah. Thank you, Super Dave. Yep, appreciate it, man. Chris it, said, "On hamburger." Yes, sir. Yep. Gil, when you getting back out, man? <laughs> It'll be a minute for me. Wow. I might not. I might not even get a chance to do the summer. I don't know yet. Uh oh. Just making me put my priorities in head first. That's all. That's all. Hey, Jr. Yeah, I've, I've tried that too. Yep. Chop, hmm. chop them up. I, I like taking the pep, the seeds out. Oh, okay. Before I chop, it gives it a good flavor. Yeah. It don't make it hot, but it, it just gives it a, that flavor. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, Gil, first chance you know you get, man, just hit me up, dude. You know you more than welcome to get out on the boat and. Oh yeah, I, just, I, I was just sitting around like I talked to you earlier, man. I was I was just in bad shape really. It's kind of society a little bit, but I don't know. Uh -huh. but, yeah. Well, one one thing I can tell you is don't stop moving. Once you, you do got. that, once you do that, <laughs> yeah. it locks in. Yeah. yeah. What's happening, man? Oh, <clears throat> but yeah, I might hit you up tomorrow if you decide to do something <laughs> tomorrow. I'm just keeping the board the like. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was cutting the bait down. He's talking about a quarter stick of dynamite. <laughs> this time talking about, okay, enough food talk. Y'all making me hungry. <laughs> Subs from a local Italian restaurant are pretty good. Uh -huh. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, Joey, I tell you what, man, it's, that's, uh, that's what makes them special, you know? Right. Yeah. So I have some swordfish it. tomorrow. Cool. Yeah. Swordfish. Yep. Yeah, swordfish. It's pretty good. For real. Yeah. 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 There's there are times when I find a, a color pattern, man. I do I do three guide trips on on one bait. Mm -hmm. yeah, and that's what gets snagged in the brush and and all of that. I mean, I'll catch just, a lemon off the bait, take it off, and put it back in the bag. Yeah. You yeah. Know, and use it later. That's right. Yeah. Yep. I'll use them till they are destroyed. Mm -hmm. And they still work. Yep. JR asked Miss Stephanie, do she have any pictures of her catching fish with her with his micro jigs? And she said, Yes, I do. Cool. That's what's up. That's what's up. Murdoch says, stuff that jalapeno with brown sugar, deer with a little cream cheese, wrapped with bacon, grill, or oven. It's awesome. Cool. Brown sugar. Oh, browned. Um, where did I get brown sugar? Brown, <laughs> browned deer. Where did I get brown sugar from? You must have tried it before. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it does sound good. Yep. Well, guys, I thought we was going to have the bank fishing specialist on the show tonight. We need to have a get-together and have some of that good food. Yep, yep, yep. You know, I was thinking about that today. You know, I was getting ready to get these tournaments started, and started on Lake Houston. I think we're just going to do a little get-together, go out and do a catch, clean, and cook at the marina, and then just talk about, the, you know, getting the tournament together. Cool, cool. I think we're going to make that happen pretty soon. Yeah. 
Be Joey nice. Says, How long are you in AF? I put 20 years. 25 years. And two months. 20 yeah. years and two months until the U.S. Coast Guard. And then call it a career. I appreciate both of y'all's service. 25 uh, years. And then I went um, 10 years of uh, federal service. Cool. Civil service. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. And then a couple years with Pratt and Whitney, jet engines. I'm a jet engine guy by trade, so cool. cool. Yeah, I build that's airplanes. And yeah, from nuts and bolts. <laughs> yeah, I know that's that's pretty exciting. Yeah, it's to pretty build cool. something. I like it. Yep, when I went to that, work, I wanted to go to work. That's exactly. The best thing. Yeah, that's that's a real job. Yeah, yep. that's exactly. having a real job. Yep. Yep. It's like fishing. When you're going fishing, you want to go. <laughs> exactly. Yep. That's yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, I do. I do complain some uh, dealing with, with, with but it, the thing is, I got to accept that these folks have absolutely no clue. So if I can get them out there and, and put them on fish and they, they catch, especially on Lake Houston, man, it's a great accomplishment. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I have to accept. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it can get frustrating. Mile, you know I mean? Yep, exactly. Yeah. Yep. We can. But it's still worth it while you put a smile on your face when you see them catch them. They, they, they're the biggest fish they ever caught in their life. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. That's right. the best yeah, my, thing. My, my client today had his boat, I think, over a year and has never caught a fish. He, you know, he got all kind of electronic sim rats on the, on, the, on the console and active target. and he got, he got everything you need and has never even seen his bait, has never even seen oh, a fish wow. on, his, on his unit. Until today, and got to catch catch some good crappie today. So, yeah. and just good. to see that excitement, that excitement. This man spent all of this money yeah. and catch his first fish. Yeah, That's right. Yeah, can't go wrong with that. At That's all. cool. That's yep. good stuff right there. Yep, yep. We did a video to all to all of us together. Yep. Kids. Yeah, it was one of yeah. Lake Sound. We, did a, we did a couple of them. Yep. There's Fahim. What's going on, my man? What's up, Fahim? Well, guys, I'm about out of up what I can talk. I mean, it's just uh, absolutely no pattern. Uh, and, and like I say, it miss my technique. Usually, uh, spots don't really mean anything. It's just go out there and. Get on your grind and keep stay on the move, and, and eventually you'll find some you'll find some, some you know area that got got some fish, and not necessarily are they going to be on structure, not necessarily they're going to all be on the bottom, not necessarily are they all going to be uh, uh, suspended. Exactly. Yep. Right. And I will tell you one thing. Uh, I mentioned this earlier. Uh, I almost passed up some fish that you know white bass they usually hang at the very top of the structure. That, that's their thing. You see them. Right. You see fish at the very top. That's usually going to be, especially on Lake Houston. That's usually going to be some white bass. Yes. I was right. like, you know what? Let me just, just, just see because they didn't have a shape. Then they wasn't moving all fast like white bass. You know, white bass they turn and they saw the circle on top of that. You know, they never hardly ever sit still, but they do sit still sometimes. I dropped that jig down there, man. A big old crappie nailed it right mm. at the top of. I'm talking about it in short water. Right under, right under a foot uh, below the surface. Wow! And I will tell you this: that is not easy to do, and see it happen on live scope. Yeah, it is not easy to do to fish that shallow and see it on live scope. Gerald say LBG been catching those colorblind crappie. <laughs> He said, think pink is red. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to show y'all about that. I'm going to make a good video with that red and white jig. Y'all be calling Steve next week to make some jigs. Some red yeah, and every, white jigs. Everywhere right now. You're right, SK. No pattern. Yep, without a doubt. It's just that time of year, man. It's, it's just that time of year. And, and it's why I hate this this time of year the most. I'm not gonna say I hate it, but it's my least favorite time of year to fish for crappie. I don't like it because of the boat traffic. That too. Yep. Yep. We got a lake with a lot of stumps and trees in. We might be all right. No, they'd still be ripping and running. It'd just be a lot of them hitting them, <laughs> hitting the stumps and trees. Wow. Yeah, boat traffic is bad. Yep. 
you know, today when, when I was on the boat with my client, you know, he's brand new to boating. So that, that's one of the things that I, he was, he slowed down and had his nose. I said, no, 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 no. If you go, if you gonna slow down at all for that boat, you slow all the way down because when you slow halfway down, that's when it's the absolute worst. That's when your boat throws the absolute biggest wake that it can. That's right. That's what I'm saying. The thing is, always look back and look at that wake, and and pass everybody, unless it's somebody that don't wake you. Pass everybody the way you want them to pass you. Correct. And two of the guys that were sitting there, they, they were thumbing up, giving me thumbs up for because they could hear, you know, a, a boat that's sitting still and you're talking on a boat that's moving. You're going to talk loud enough for, for your you know, person on the boat to hear you. But that voice carries on water. Correct. So uh, they heard what I was saying. And, and when those guys passed up us up that later on, they did us the same way. Slow down to an idol. Right. And it's so important. All right. Boat etiquette means a lot. And, uh... Yep. Joey says, SK, do you think they'll school up at some point on Houston at some point, or is this lack of a pattern, a year round thing? No, no, it's just this time of year. And I'm not saying you're going to go and find 20 fish on a brush pile, but there you will find that there'll be, you know, sometimes 10, sometimes five. Uh, it's not, it's not going to be as bad as it is right now. Craig said, I think LBG fell asleep with Burger still. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Murdoch said, Bur boat traffic is awful. Yes, sir. Yeah. Today, out of two dozen minnows, I caught three crappie, one striped bass, and 20 turtles. Oh, wow. Man. A lot of turtles. Mm. Yes, sir. Turtles are spawning. <laughs> so, so, sound like turtle soup. Mm -hmm. Man. You know, speaking of turtles, yeah, I know that people, I do was just talking about eating and all that. You know, I'm a person that's not scared to try anything to eat. And I've seen a bunch of people, not a bunch of people, I've seen some people doing some uh, tur different things, you know, cutting up turtles and cooking mm -hmm. it different ways. Man, I want to try it. You never tried turtle? I've never tried turtle. I did it back in my, I was young, but I hadn't ate it. Yeah, long okay. Time. Yeah, I never. You know, back then, people they were actually looking for them and catching them and cooking. I yeah, like to get yeah. some rabbit. I ain't had rabbit in a minute. You never had? Oh, okay. I was no, I've had you it. Never had... I haven't had it for a while. That's some really I good had stuff. Rabbit in twenty years, probably. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's some good stuff. Right? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just you can cook it, right? Yeah. 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 I think they sell it some places. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Jesse, you, you talk blue and white, man. That's that's one of my favorite colors is, is blue and white. Yeah, but... blue and white, uh Navarro Mills, it's on fire. Yeah. It's always yeah. been good color. I can make I can make red and white work on yeah. the coast, but I just can't I, I just don't see that crappie crappie like it. A they blue diamond it. probably worked good on Navarro they, Mills. They love the red yep. and white. Yep. Yeah, come on with it, diamond Gil. stuff. Uh, <laughs> when I get back, I'll be posting some diamond colors. Cool, so. cool. That's what's up. Yes, sir. <laughs> Miss Red said, Diamond. <laughs> said the turtles Red bite her bait in half. They were. <laughs> yep. Well, snapping turtles. Yep, yep. Snapping turtles. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to catch a blue, big bluegill. Me too. Yeah, it's about yeah, that yeah. time of year. Craig, so you guys ever go to a wild game feed? Lots of different meat. Uh, I haven't. Uh, there's only one place that I know that serve uh, wild game. Uh, in, I know it's more in Houston, but there's only one that I know of. Oh, okay. I know. And all that I've ever ate from there was quail. Mm. The best bird there is to eat. My daddy eat the eggs and pickle quail. Oh, eggs. yeah. yeah oh, okay. The eggs are good, too. I ain't never asked. He'd be having them jars in that way. Mm -mm. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, you say you've never eaten coon. What? That was the greasiest. He said, Yeah, if, if it was greasy, they whoever cooked it didn't know no well, I'm not gonna try down nobody, but you got a parable that joker and and uh and spoon that grease off as you're parabolling it. Hmm. And then baking. Uh I, I don't I hadn't had it in a long, long time, but that's one of the things I can remember hearing those the, the elders talk about was how if you don't cook a coon right, you won't like it. I got oh, one okay. in the freezer right now, kid. 
during her season. Oh, okay. cool. That you get it, ball it. Mm -hmm. good. You got a pair ball. Take that sucker out, put him in some flour, and fry. Yeah. Man, I can eat a whole coon by myself. When he asks you, you don't know. I'm yeah. not gonna ask you nothing. You better ask for it because you don't ask me. <laughs> uh, Fahim say he better. Those turtles better be glad he don't know how to cook them. <laughs> DB, what's going on, my man? What's up, Dollar Bill? Bill? Uh, Murak says this guy just skinned it and baked it. Yeah, that now. Nah, oh, okay. You gotta clean yeah. it. You gotta clean yeah. it up a little bit. Yeah, no, nah, it don't work that way, brother. Joey says I got one pound of bluegill in my backyard. Steve SK saw the pictures. <laughs> yep, cover your ears, LBG. <laughs> <laughs> He says he's got one plus pound. We're gonna go show show up over there. Hey, that's it. Yeah. Got his old crickets down there on. Oh yeah. Yep. DB said coon some good man. eating, like roast beef. Yes, sir. Exactly. That meat, man, good and tender. Yes, sir. Craig says slow cook a coon, then drain the grease, then bake. Yep. Mm -hmm. you do that. I like to, I like to parable it. Well, parable that Joker. And uh. That that gets all that that all out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give them a shout out for them too. Yep, exactly. Mm. Yep. Yeah, there, there's some mean jokers alive. Man, yeah. what you talking about? Oh yeah. Okay, Mark said a lot of the churches around here have wildlife cookings from time to time. Okay. That's that's, that's pretty cool. cool. Yeah, I ain't bad at all. Yep. Yeah, what we do at our camp is is uh, well, there's only two of us that that process our own stuff. But what you know, I, the reason I process my own is because I can play with the seasonings and 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 I know I'm I'm I take care of my meat, so I know I'm getting my meat right. uh, from my animal, and uh, we'll we'll do cook-offs out there just to you know show everybody the different seasonings that mm -hmm. that uh we use and but uh. Man, it's a lot of fun, man, dealing with the outdoors. All but right. we yeah. we are uh, I am thinking of getting a get together. It'll be at Waterside Marina and we'll just go out and do, you know catch some fish and come in and clean them. And uh we got all the stuff there to 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 do a good fish fry. So that's coming soon. So y'all be on the lookout yeah. for that any especially you local guys. We're going to make that happen. All right. Yeah. We're gonna make that happen. I don't know how that happened. Did you see yeah, you blink I, out? Yeah, I blinked out. It, when I yeah. came back in. Yeah. Well, guys, uh, I only want to step on, step in. I almost uh just uh canceled the 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 live for tonight, but I was like, yeah, we'll just come on for a little bit. Uh -huh. But I've been going at it. Steve yeah. has been going at it. Yeah, LBG. Yeah. yeah. So we just want to come in and, and talk about what we're yeah. seeing on the lake and listen to what everybody else had to say and chat it up with the family. So, uh, LBG, Steve, y'all would hang on. Okay. Uh, right. Slick and uh, Super Dave, I really do appreciate you guys handling the chat for us. Much appreciation. Could be, it's so much smoother with you guys. I really do appreciate everybody else that's been in the chat that joins us every week. If this is your first time, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and uh, you guys be safe out on the water if you get to go out this weekend. Don't forget to check those shallow waters because these spawns last a lot longer than than what most people say. So uh, be sure to uh, start what I like to say it start shallow and work your way deeper. All right. And uh, have fun with it. That's all you can do. And. Uh, as always, like Super Day say, wear your PFDs. Yep, be safe. Be safe, and uh, we will be back next week. Same time, same flavors. Right. Peace. Later.